Welcome to Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Roble, and on today's tips and tricks, I'm going to take you through the pulse function on the 200DX. We're going to use the pulse function a little different this time. We're going to use it as a training tool to help you establish a good rhythm in your TIG welding. With the machine running, you can see that I have pulse set in the low setting. I have the pulse width straight up and down about 50%. I have the pulse frequency turned all the way down at 0.02 and then my pulse current is about 150 amps. And here's where I am on the foot pedal. I do have the foot pedal plugged in so remember that this becomes our base current and then our pulse current is tuned in on the machine. For the setup I'm using on this we're doing 8th inch hot rolled that I've just simply prepped on a belt sander. I'm using 332nd 2% seriated tungsten. I am flowing with the gas lens and I'm flowing right at 7 liters a minute. I have the pieces tacked together and we're just going to use this pulse as a spot timer and it's going to show us when to add filler and when to move. Sometimes what you have to do is you have to let it pulse a couple of times to get some heat in the material and then start to weld. As you can see right here what I'm doing is I'm just using the pulse as a timing method for me to dip the filler rod and then start to move. It's a really nice ripple pattern and lets us work a little bit on our timing. As you can see right here, I have to re-establish heat in the material because I'm starting over again. And with this re-established heat, now I get back into a rhythm and I'm just letting it pulsate and adding filler material as we go. As you can see we have a very nice spacing where the puddle has froze and I've chose to move. Uh, sometimes you'll have to get a little heat in it so maybe it'll have to be two or three pulse cycles but that's fine. Just stay in there until you get the heat, dip and then move. What I really like about the longevity on the pulse function is the pulse is set in high not the low or not a percentage. So I can dial in so how much heat I want to pulse into it how long I want that pulse to stay there and then how often I want that pulse to happen. So that gives us a lot of control with the puddle. Here again I'm using this as just as a training aid but I wouldn't hesitate in a minute to go use this on welding up one of my chromoly cars. It uh, allows a little of the heat to be taken out of the tubing, less heat effective zone, less crystallization, stronger weld. That's it for the tips and tricks. I hope you've learned something. Now get out in the shop and go practice. Thank you for watching Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Roble, and I'll catch you here next time.